Hello, this is Rating Research, and today we're going to be performing a transformer rated meter test using the Bantam Plus and the uh, RB MTA meter test adapter. Uh, first thing that I want to do when I get to a site is power up the Bantam Plus. So I'm going to be using the field power cable. Okay, and this cable has two leads that allow me to pull power from the meter test switch. Okay, I'm going to power on the service side of the test switch. Okay, and I'm also going to connect my safety ground. Once connected, I'm, I can turn on the Bantam Plus. The Bantam Plus is traditionally a uh, meter test kit for the field. The system will supply both current and voltage for the meter test. And when Aptical, you can actually test the meter while it's installed in the automated meter socket of the Bantam Plus. So today, we're going to be testing the meter while it remains installed in the uh, test switch interface of a transformator rated meter. And we're going to be using the RB-MTA meter test adapter. This meter test adapter is configured in a Form 9 connection scheme, but in the software will allow me to test all of the transformer rated meters uh, via this configuration. The meter test adapter simply plugs into the Bantam Plus's automated socket like so. Okay. Once it's installed in the meter socket, I can actually connect and configure my meter test switch um, to accept a sourced current and a sourced voltage. To do that, I'm first going to de-energize the meter by removing all phases. Okay. Then I'm going to put the meter in bypass mode for the CTs. Okay. I'm going to remove the safety bypass because I would like to isolate the meter from the service. Next, I'm going to use my isolation plugs to isolate the meter from the CT service. I'm going to do this for all three phases. With the meter now sufficiently isolated from the service, I can now connect the voltage and the current terminals to the meter. I have connections for all three phases. For phase A, I'm going to be using red. For phase B, I'm going to be using yellow. And these are the current terminals that I'm connecting. And for phase C, I'll be using the blue connection. Okay. Now I can connect my sourced voltage. Okay. Again, phase A, I'm going to be using red. Phase B is yellow. And phase C is blue. And also, I'm going to be connecting my safety neutral ground for the reference. Okay. Once I have my current and voltage connected and my meter isolated from the CT service, I can install my pulse probe. This is the Opticom probe that we're using today. And then I can either use my gloves or take my gloves off to operate the equipment. But I'm going to select the meter setup for the test that I'm going to perform today. And I already have it programmed for uh, uh, the particular 9S meter that I'm testing. 
The Bantam Plus touchscreen is a resistive touchscreen, so it allows me to use my gloves. Okay. With the test selected, with the Opticom probe already configured, I can easily now just hit start for starting the test. Okay. Now the Bantam Plus will energize the meter with 120 volts on each phase. It'll energize current at two and a half amps for full load on each phase, and that'll be at unity power factor. And that will be the first test point. The second test point after this test is done will be a power factor at two and a half amps. And then lastly, once that test is complete, it'll perform a um, light load at 0.25 amps. And it's gonna be a fully automated test. Now on the Bantam software, it easily shows us a pass or fail scenario by indicating a green or red on the screen. Once I start my test, I can easily select the data view and type in the serial number of that meter. The screen will easily pop open the serial number screen. I can type it in, select OK, and now that meter is ready to save. Now the test is complete and I can easily save the results by hitting the save test. Now that I'm, my test is complete and I've seen that all the results were passing, I can now disconnect all my sensors, restore my meter back to its, to its uh, uh, install condition by taking my cables off and taking the meter isolation out and then rebuckling up the meter. And that's how we perform a transformer rated meter test while the meter remains inside the uh, meter box. And again, we are using the Radian RB-MTA, which is the meter test adapter. Thank you very much.